to today's vlog. Today we're doing a tech review vlog and a lens review vlog of all things. Um, I've got the Sigma Art 35mm uh, 1.4 lens in for review and unboxing as you've just seen. Hello? Hello? Yeah, because look, is this the back all safe? Ah, well, uh, that was the plumbers coming in, so sorry about that little interruption to the vlog. So back to the review of this Sigma Art 35mm. Um, I'm really, really enjoying it. If I've only had it for less than a week now, I've got it at the weekend. Uh, I'm still learning it, but I have taken some shots that you can see here. So this one I took outside in the garden last weekend of my daughter, Amy. Um, I do like my black and white portraits, which is why uh, we're on there. The images are absolutely crystal clear. Uh, you can see from this one that I took of just my coffee cup uh, when I was on a photo shoot on Sunday morning, that bocker effect, bokeh effect, bo bokeh, bokeh, whatever you want to call it anyway, that nice blurry effect at the back is pretty pronounced on this you can see that within the context of this picture um, they're pretty much as is I've done a little bit of editing in Lightroom sort of post-production and you can see here with some pictures of my son yesterday we're playing football pretty good shutter speed it's got some nice kind of close-up it's really good for portraiture obviously as a 35 mil lens uh, this next stuff I shot of video uh, again on the 5d the first stuff is at 100 frames per second in slow-mo just trying to see how fast the focus is on it it's pretty good on video uh, and then you can see some stuff here shot in the normal 4k um, so yeah pretty pretty happy with it I need to spend some more time with it I like to use it more of a, as a film lens uh, for sort of recording some some stuff obviously when i'm doing vlogs i'm tending to do it on a 10 to 18 mil lens uh on the on the 5d so quite a nice wide angle lens so whereas this um if i want to use the 5d for filming i need to get external screens and everything and i haven't done that but yeah as a lens it's pretty good the price for a 35 mil prime lens is not bad it's around about the 500 pounds mark um it feels you know the quality feels like it's pretty decent. It's not particularly heavy, but it feels like good quality, a bit like that 24mm lens that I was doing. And it was a friend of mine, Stephen Creamer, who's a professional photographer, who told me a while back, he said he'd basically thrown out all these Canon lenses and just switched to these Sigma art lenses for most of his stuff. Um, from what the reviews I've read online as well, people for doing wedding photography and stuff like that really, really swear by these 35mm lenses. Um, I want to spend some more time with it. Heading away this weekend, I'll get some more photographs done it. Make sure you check out my Instagram feed uh, for more of those. Um, the negatives, there's no weather sealing on it, which lenses for this amount of money, you kind of would hopefully have that. And my neg the negative is for me personally, I need to spend some more time taking photos. So hopefully, at the end of this vlog, I'm going to do a little bit more of a montage of just some general stuff around on the lens. Um, just depends how the rest of the day goes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
absolutely love this Slimsky book. Um, don't spend enough on it. I think a lot of us have played it if you're a saxophone player because Coltrane played it. Uh, but that number 570 there, I was just practicing that before, that is the um, minor thirds in whole steps, which I spoke about in this vlog when we got Michael Brecker's practice books and through there. So, you know, Brecker probably took it from that book as well. So lots and lots of stuff to do. Maybe if you want me to make a vlog about that, if you are a saxophone player uh, and you're here for uh, my normal vlog, then please do do that. If you are new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, uh, give us a like and uh, yeah, come along again. I'll be back with you next week with a new vlog. Give us a Q&A as well, give us some Q&As below. It's been ages since I've done a full on Q&A vlog. I'd love to do one. Uh, and also I'm looking forward to doing another live vlog soon. Uh, don't forget you can support my music by heading to Patreon. There's a new playlist there every week. There's saxophone lessons and everything else like that. There is platinum membership at cambridgesaxophone.com. You can get four free saxophone lessons if you head to the link below in the description. It's all there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you really soon. Bye-bye.